Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Electromagnetics and Antennas playlist. In this tutorial, we'll talk about Poisson's equation and we'll also talk about a special case of Poisson's equation which is Laplacian equation. If this is something that interests you, then please keep watching. Now let's talk about the significance of Poisson's equation. It states relation between electric field, potential and charge. This is just a mathematical expression of electric potential with respect to charge and it is very simple to derive. It has a two-step derivation that we are going to do. In step number one, we need to establish the relation between electric field and potential where electric field is our good old electric field intensity E vector and electric potential is voltage. Now please understand from the basic definition of voltage we know that the gradient of voltage as a matter of fact the negative gradient of the voltage results in electric field intensity. That would be the first step of understanding. The second step is Maxwell's first equation which states that the divergence of D is rho V. These two steps can be thought of as the prerequisites of deriving Poisson's equation. So we already know that the electric field is negative gradient of the potential so E vector will be given as minus of gradient of V, V being a scalar quantity, it will result in a vector to be produced which is electric field intensity and the Maxwell's first equation says that divergence of D is rho V and substituting D as epsilon naught E, we get divergence of E to be equivalent to rho V upon epsilon naught. And if we substitute the value of this E in this equation, we'll get our Poisson's equation. So that is how it is done. We take the value of E from equation number one and substitute it in equation number two. And we get divergence of gradient of V which is del square V and this equation is popularly known as Poisson's equation and this operator specifically is the Laplacian operator and we already have seen this operator when we did wave equation in wave equations also we saw Laplacian E to be equivalent to mu naught epsilon naught curly square E by curly T square. So we said at that point that this is Laplacian E also. And this entire equation was a part of special case of Helmholtz equation for free space. So this operator is not new to us, but the format of this operator along with V. So Laplacian of V which is equivalent to minus rho v upon epsilon naught is Poisson's equation. So this is Poisson's equation and it is a mathematical representation or mathematical expression of voltage potential and we know that voltage is related to the electric field intensity like this as stated in equation number one and also, the voltage is related to the capacitance as Q upon V. So if we are able to mathematically calculate voltage from this operator and this relation, we can also calculate E and C. This equation is a mathematical tool which is useful in calculation of voltages, electric field intensities and capacitors at large. 
and a special case of Poisson's equation is known as Laplacian equation that we are going to do now. If you look at our Poisson's equation, the special case is when rho v is 0. When do you think that will happen? Rho v is 0 in, in a volume of free space because charge cannot exist in free space. So if I say that rho v is 0 for free space, that gives me uh, Laplacian of B to be equivalent to 0 which is Laplace equation so please understand Laplace equation is a special case of Poisson's equation where we consider rho v to be equivalent to 0 there, there can be many cases where rho v can be considered as 0 the calculation becomes a lot easier when we've been given a case where Laplacian equation is needed to be considered. Now another vantage point here that I want to discuss is that uh, we know from an earlier discussion that from Maxwell's first equation by the way that divergence of E is zero. So free space, in free space we do not have any volume charge density so del dot d is 0 which gives me del dot e is 0 and if del dot e is 0 then Laplacian of e will also be 0 or Laplacian of v will also be 0 so the expected result is in sync with the Laplace equation which is a special case of Poisson's equation so this is another way of looking at the Laplace equation here I'd like to discuss another vantage point if we take curl of gradient of V which was our starting point that will become zero because curl of a gradient is zero and which is also expected we never see E to be curling and that's the reason why voltage uh, is is not a curling vector at all so this is in sync with the uh, discussion of Poisson's and Laplacian equation. And mathematically we know that this operator is a representative of acceleration. So Laplacian V is going to be curly square V by curly X square curly square V by curly Y square curly square V by curly z square which is very very easy to calculate the calculation of this can give us great results in terms of electric field intensity and capacitor if you wish to find those variables also well that's about it for uh, the discussion of and Laplacian equation this Laplacian equation will also be used in the derivation of the proof of uniqueness theorem We'll do that in a separate video. And if you liked the content of the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Share this video to as many people as you can. I'll see you around in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.